Aren't you going to giggle? <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Doug. I'm, I'm Sam. And this is The Bottom Line. Our episodes are sponsored by Marine Data Solutions and Salt to Eck Group Brown. Marine Data Solutions, no throttling, no contract, unlimited data, and no oil spills. We've never had an oil spill with them. Mm -hmm. And and salty rags keeps us from being naked okay you don't want to be naked and she's not getting naked nope. and now we're going to have to come up with something new because salty rags said hey look we also do bedding i'm like bedding so maybe naked between the sheets yeah comfortable, comfortable I, don't naked. I don't know listen we love you guys we're going to do this as long as you guys want to see us do it yes i mean we're not driving ferraris we ain't getting rich off of this <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, but anyway, to give back to the community, mm -hmm. uh, let's do some shout outs. Okay, shout out to Les's sub blog. Les's sub blog. Yes. Listen, you guys got to look it up. Les's sub uh, blog. blog. All right, here's <laughs> what it is. Les uh, is the captain of Axis. I yes. did that walk through. Yeah. A, a really nice guy. I actually mm -hmm. sat in the sub. Yeah. Here's a picture of us in the sub. Yeah. Um, so, what Les does is he works for a guy who uh, owns Walker's K. Uh, Island. Island, yeah. Guy owns a whole island. That's awesome. I mean, talk about if he, he you know, talk about if he ever wanted to be turned to evil, he's yeah. got his own island. <laughs> All right. But, <laughs> but anyway, Les runs one of his mega yachts, and uh, Les is uh, doing this uh, thing called Les's Sub Blog, mm -hmm. and he's got some really cool information. If you've never been in a sub, it, it answers a lot of questions. If you ever want to be in a yacht sub, mm -hmm. uh, you get a better picture of it. Yeah. So go check Les's Sub Blog out. Yeah. Next. Also, shout out to Fort Lauderdale oh, Yacht one. Crew. Yes. Fort Lauderdale Yacht Crew. Yes. We love Fort Lauderdale Yacht Crew. We love you. Let me tell you something. Those guys do an awesome job over there. Do you know they actually have like 40 or 50 groups? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not only that. They do Antibes. They do Antigua. Oh. They do. They have actually one in Thailand. Nice. Um, but you know what? Well, uh, those guys just do such a pro job, and they put our show on mm -hmm. most of those. We're oh. worldwide. Uh, through Yachting International Radio through these guys. Nice. I mean, we're that's that's a big shout out to you guys. If you are new crew or even if you're experienced crew, mm -hmm. definitely sign up yes. because it's a wealth of information. I agree. Yeah. And, but, you know, haters will still hate. So kind of get through the drama of yes. yacht crew. Can you see that there, too? <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Okay, next. So industry news. Oh, what do we got? <clears throat> America's Cup news. Oh, America's Cup news. America's Cup. Guess what? Last week we covered America's Cup boating accident. <laughs> yes. Where the boat almost sank. Yes. But someone thought we did a terrible job. What was yeah. his name? Um, Jack McGregor. Oh, Jack yes, said, Jack. why don't you leave? The, he said, sailboat news, awful. Skip it. Why don't you leave that to the sailors? You motor boaters keep motor boating. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, what we're going to do yep. <laughs> is we're going to do the real factual news yes we are yes mm -hmm. okay so and by the way didn't you used to sail on a whitbread maxis did i sail on a whitbread maxi yeah. why yes sam i did. did so probably before jack was born yeah probably okay so <laughs> uh so uh what, what are we doing with america's cup here's the deal unfortunately the, the u.s boat's out yep okay they they were unable to uh to make the cut so that leaves um Two left. That means yeah. leaves uh, the UK mm -hmm. and Italian. and Italy. Yep. Okay. So uh, on uh, the February thirteenth, uh, they're going to start duking it out, and the first one uh, to win uh, seven races mm -hmm. will actually be the challenger to New Zealand yep. for America's Cup. Yes. Okay. I'm going to use my very limited experience in sailing, and I'm <laughs> going to make a, a, a bet that it's the Italians that take uh, to take it. And I'll tell you why. Because uh, they've already beat the UK boat twice in December. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as far as the Italians and and the New Zealanders, mm -hmm. I have no clue. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, in New Zealand, everybody's shaking their heads. They have no idea who's going to win. But, you know, UK could come back. They could be the underdog. They could be the underdog, so, like the Super Bowl. Yeah, Tom Brady, the underdog. Yep. Is he the underdog? No. No, Tom okay. Brady's always on the <laughs> But anyway, hey... By the way, America's uh, American boat is out. Mm -hmm. But the thing with America's Cup is everybody's a winner because this is not just a sailboat race. Yeah. This is a technology race. Yeah. The stuff that they're doing pushes sailboats to into the future yeah. and gives us all kinds of other options in the pleasure yeah. boating industry. So it, we're all winners. Yep. Okay, next. So court declares uh, per Premi Navi bankrupt for future uncertain. Ugh. Okay, this is sad news. Yeah. Perini Navi. Uh, are, are bankrupt. Yes. Uh, court just uh, just figured that out. They looked through the books, yeah. and it's a classic example of you owe this much and you have this much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if 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 you know, we all have been there. Mm -hmm. But this is a company now. Perini Navy's rich in sailing history. Yeah. I saw 
first time I saw Perini and Abbey was in uh, Antigua in 91. That was a year after uh, the 40, 47 meter mm. Andromeda was launched. Uh -huh. Beautiful boat, Beautiful. unbelievable. All the Perini and Abbey boats are pieces of art. Mm -hmm. I really hope they save this. Oh, by the way, I raced against uh, a Perini and Abbey in the St. Bart's really? bucket. Did you win? Uh, I didn't win, but no, I was there, Jack. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, as captain. Uh -huh. All right. Anyway, uh, well, so what's happening? Okay, so in 2019, they were they showed a hundred million dollar deficit. In uh, the first quarter of 2020, they showed a hundred twenty one million dollar deficit. I don't have the numbers going forward, but as you can see, it's a downward trend. Uh, there have been a couple of uh, companies that are interested in trying to get involved to take over. One of them is the Peretti Group. Yeah. Power boats. Power boats. Okay, and another one is San uh, Lorenzo. San Lorenzo yeah. They make power boats too, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. That's power boats taking over sailboats. Yes. Okay, so it's going to be an uphill battle regardless. Okay, uh, the court is going to go back in June and decide what they can do. I guess in yeah. Italy it's a little different. Mm -hmm. They might just say you have to sell everything and pick up the pieces. Yeah. If somebody buys a company, there are still some boats in construction. One boat. Larry Allison has under construction a Perini Navi, and uh, right now that's $68 million worth of boat. So whoever buys his company or takes over the debt mm -hmm. also has to take into account Everyone Larry said, Allison wants his yeah, boat finished. finished yeah. Now, one of the major shareholders in Perini Navi has uh, stated that he'll personally guarantee that these boats get built. That's kind of nice. That is really nice. Yes. So I, like I hope uh, Perini Navis are awesome boats. Yeah. I hope they, they, they get this Stand. squared away. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next. So we're going to do crew corner. What's in crew corner this week? Fake profiles and new crew. Uh, is my profile fake? No. No. You know why my, <laughs> my you know why my profile's not fake? Because if you go through my pro profile, you'll see nothing but boats yep. and boat related stuff yep. and pictures of the bridge mm -hmm. and me on the bridge mm -hmm. with pictures of the bridge telling you how from much years, I'm working. From years ago, too. Yeah, from like yeah. centuries ago, <laughs> back when I was a sailboat captain. <laughs> okay, but what's happening is back on one of our, our family part is uh, um, Fall Larry Yacht Crew mm -hmm. over the weekend, big blow up about fake profiles. Yep. Now, what's a fake profile? Someone who catfishes you. What's a catfish? When Why you're pretending to be someone that you're not. Okay, so apparently, yes. there's a whole bunch of guys now that are pretending to be captains yep. and to do two things. One, to, call, to cause chaos. Yes. Okay, they just start arguments, okay? And, and then the second one is to date. Date, yep. Okay, these are both bad reasons to have fake profiles. <laughs> but the funny thing is, the guy who creates the fake profile mm -hmm. starts calling people out yep. and then his other profile mm -hmm. uh that's him real one yeah is backing them up yeah they like talk back and forth to make it sound legit okay so i'm going to show you how easy it is to create a fake profile what should my name be uh doug number two how about big dick <laughs> no. Fake profile i can do whatever i want <laughs> big d big d, big d i big didn't d. mean big dick yeah. i'm not big d all right here we go Big D. Big D. And that's how easy it is to create my fake profile, Big D. And here he is to explain what Big D wants to do on What's the internet. Up? Go ahead. That's right. I'm Big D. I'm a brand new. I'm a brand mm. new uh, Facebook profile. What am I yeah. trying to do? <laughs> I'm trying to date. I don't even own a boat. I'm not even a captain. I had a license for about 10 years ago, but I don't use it. I'm mm. going to try and get you to relax a little and interview late at night, and maybe you have a couple of drinks, and maybe we get busy. <laughs> well, what an interesting character. What an interesting, good looking yeah. guy. Okay, Sam, what can we do to, to uh, what can you tell new crew to keep themselves from getting involved in this? So, to make sure you're not getting catfish, you should definitely check <coughs> out their profile first. See, look for pictures of boats, like Doug says he has a bunch of We them. love boats. Yes and their profile pictures. Also see like how far back the pictures go. If they're all recent, that's probably a red flag. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, let's <laughs> let him tell us what he's trying to do. Yes. Go ahead. So that's basically, you know, you guys got to watch out for a guy mm -hmm. like me. All right. Oh, that, yep. That's <laughs> just a fact. I'm <laughs> looking to date. Guy. I'm going to send you pictures guy. that you're not going to like. I'm going to try and get you out. And hopefully <laughs> you get drunk enough where you think <laughs> if you do something, I'm going to get busy. So watch out for me. He's the legit guy. I'm not. Well, okay. So he's trying to date you. Yes. 
Stay okay. away Later. from BD. Yes, <laughs> stay away from Big D. <laughs> All right, if you ever see a guy on Facebook or wherever arguing with me and his name's Big D, guess what? That's me. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> but, <Just> don't. <laughs> but, but, but I don't need to do that. Don't do that. Anyway, listen, uh, my name is Doug. And my name's Sam. And, and, and this is Big D. Mm -hmm. Okay, just remember. All right. Do your homework. <laughs> yes. Do your research. Yes. You should be interviewing on the boat. Okay. Interviews do not include dating. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Exactly. And if you get big D picks, oh, big D picks. <laughs> Hopefully you don't, but. Report it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm Doug and Doug. <laughs> and I'm Sam. All right. And that's the bottom line. Bye.